There are two ways to make a website with WordPress. The first way is with WordPress.com, and although there are definitely some benefits to that, you lose out on a lot of control and functionality when you don't self-host WordPress. To self-host WordPress, you need to buy web hosting. The cost of web hosting for a small business can range from a couple dollars a month to a couple hundred dollars a month. If you're just starting out and you have a website that doesn't get a ton of traffic, you can definitely get away with getting started on the lower end of that range. My favorite budget-friendly host is SiteGround, and in this video, I'll show you how to sign up with them and set up your WordPress hosting. Let's get started. If you click the link in the description, it's going to bring you to the SiteGround homepage. Once you get here, you can click the Start Now button. And then it's going to bring you to these three options. You're almost always going to only need the startup plan. SiteGround is a budget host. And while it's really a great host to use when you're just starting out, as your site grows, you're going to want to upgrade your hosting. So if you're signing up for SiteGround, you probably don't need a lot of space for your website and you probably don't have a ton of monthly visits. So startup is fine for you. So you can just click the get plan button. And though you can buy a domain name with SiteGround, I do suggest buying it somewhere else at a domain registrar, which is a company that is made specifically for registering domain names. The reason I say this is because you're going to want to upgrade your host later. If you have your domain with SiteGround and you move your host from SiteGround, you're going to have to move your domain name also. If you keep your domain at a domain registrar, you can just change the settings whenever you want to move your website. The domain registrar I suggest and I'm using right now for all my domains is Porkbun. I do have a tutorial for that, so I will put that in the description below. GoDaddy is also popular and that's fine, though I do prefer Porkbun because it's cheaper and it gives you a lot of things for free that GoDaddy makes you pay for. So after you have your domain name purchased, you're going to want to click the existing domain option and then paste your domain name here. When you're done with that, click continue. Next, you're going to want to fill in your account information, your client information, and your payment information. And that should all be very easy for you, but you might have some questions about the purchase information. So you can change the amount of time your hosting is for, but I'm pretty sure you're only going to get that $3 a month price at 12 months. Yes, that's right. And then you have the option for site scanner. I personally would not do this. And there's a couple reasons why. One of them being if your website is such an important part of your business that you need to be notified immediately if it goes down, you probably want to go to a more expensive host that has better security systems. And also, this is just monitoring. It's not fixing. So if your website does happen to be hacked, you will still have to fix it yourself. So I really don't think it's worth the extra cost. So go ahead and fill out this form and then click Pay Now. Next, you'll see a screen that looks like this showing that your account was created and then you can click this button here to proceed to the client area and it's asking me to log in again. So I'm going to put in my email address and then click next and then I'm going to put my password and then click login and then I'm going to click the set up site button. Now it should have existing domain selected and it should have your domain name already here under enter your domain name. So if this looks good, just go ahead and click continue. And we are starting a new website. So we are going to select that and we are building with WordPress. So we are going to select that also. Next, put in your email address and password. This is going to be to log into the WordPress part, the admin WordPress part of your website and then click the continue button. Now it's offering you site scanner again. We are still not going to add that and we're just going to click finish. And now it is creating your website. It says it should take less than two minutes to complete. So go ahead and wait for that. And when it is done, you should come to a page that looks something like this. Now the next thing it's asking you to do is point your domain name. This is something that I usually wait to do until after the website is completed. So nobody goes to your domain name to see an incompleted site. But it is something I want to show you in this tutorial, so I am going to show you how to do that right now. Now SiteGround is suggesting we do that through name servers. I don't like to do that because I want to keep all the settings at the domain registrar. When you just set the name servers, you're going to have to do your settings at SiteGround. And just like I said earlier in the video, 
when you move your site to a different host later on, it is going to be a pain in the butt if all your domain settings are at SiteGround. So what we're going to do is point your A records at your domain name to your website server. That sounds scary, but it's not. I'm going to show you how to do it very easy. So click Site Tools. And then where it says Site IP right here, select that and then copy it. Then sign in to where your domain is registered and find where it will let you change your DNS settings. For Porkbun, you just have to hover over the, your domain name and click the DNS link. Scroll down and if you see any other A records down here that says type A, delete them by clicking this garbage can icon and then clicking OK and do that for both of those. And scroll back up and now we're going to create the A records. So for the first one, leave the host blank and then for answer, paste that IP address and then click add. And then for the second one, for the host, we're going to put the asterisk, which is a little star above the eight. And then we're going to paste in your IP address under answer and then click add again. And when you scroll down, you will see the new numbers. Now, whenever you make domain name settings, it could take up to 72 hours for the settings to go through throughout the internet, but usually it's much quicker, especially with pork bun. A good way to check to see if this is done is to go to this website called DNS Checker, which I will link in the description below. Put in your domain name, make sure A is selected here, and then click search. And if you see your correct IP address here, then you can tell that everything is pointing where it should be. Next, let's set up your SSL certificate. So click security on the left and then click SSL manager. Make sure your right domain name is selected here. And then for SSL, choose let's encrypt. It is going to be for free. And then you can click the get button. When that's done, you should see a confirmation message that looks like this, but we still have to do a little bit more to make sure your website is connected to SSL completely. So click HTTPS Enforce on the left side and then switch on HTTPS Enforce by your domain name. And we also need to do this in your WordPress backend. So that's great timing because I wanted to show you how to log into your WordPress backend from SiteGround anyway. So to do that, let's go back to my account. So click this go to my account link on the top left. And when you do this, you might have this walkthrough, but this isn't how it usually looks when you sign into SiteGround. And I want you to get comfortable with how it's actually going to look when you sign in here on a regular basis. So I'm just going to close out of all of this. So this is what it should look like when you log in. So to log into WordPress in the websites box, click the manage button. And then next to your domain name, click the WordPress admin link. SiteGround does give you a WordPress setup wizard that you can do if you'd like to, but I'm just going to click exit wizard. And there you go. Now you're in your WordPress admin. So to do the last thing we need to do to set up SSL, click speed optimizer and then click environment and then turn on HTTPS enforce here also, and then click confirm. So it's going to log you out. Now to log back in your site, you can either do that right here with the login credentials you made when we set up WordPress, or you can just go back to your SiteGround account and then click WordPress admin again. And of course you do have to build your site now with WordPress, but after you do build your site, to view it, you would hover over the site name next to the home icon on the top left and then click visit site. And if you look at the address bar in your browser, you will see that your domain name is there and you have the little log icon that shows that SSL is hooked up and your website is secure. And that's it. You have WordPress website hosting set up with SiteGround. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get your free download of my nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll guide you with everything you need to do to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.